Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. In today's video, I want to go over some of the hardware, computer hardware, that you ought to buy to make your experience with JDeveloper more pleasant. Let's take a look at JDeveloper. You can see that there's a lot of windows on here. And um, if you have a really small monitor, you're constantly going to be resizing things. And uh, one of the things that you notice when I do that, the very important uh, menus that you have disappear. So you need at least a good three or four inches on this side. You need a good size here. And um, sometimes the, the structure window gets very convoluted. And um, I like to replace it up here sometimes just because it's so big. And it's hard to see everything otherwise. So um, first order of the business, when you get a new computer monitor you need to have a nice size monitor that will show all of the windows and um, a small one like this will drive you nuts because that will be just too small uh, you'll be constantly resizing your windows and uh, it will not be a pleasant experience at all this one also just way too small for a j developer so please keep that in mind Next order of a business is the kind of computer. This will be you if you have a slow computer. You need to consider RAM. Eight gigabytes to 14 gig minimum. Probably eight will be fine. But um, if we take a look right now at the task manager, you can see that Jan developer is 520K or 1000K. That's half a gigabyte and it's not doing much. And um, I also have Oracle database on here. So that's a good 1.2 gigs of um, data that I'm using for um, these two applications. Now, one thing that I do do is I set the priority to high. And on the database, since I don't really use it that much, I set that to low. And when I'm running Java, well, let's run Java for a second here. OK, we've got Java. We've got the WebLogic server starting to run. And um, you can see that it is very slowly gaining size in memory. And this is why RAM is very important. OK, I've got my application running. And Java is at 460,000 kilobytes. JDeveloper is at 554. And Oracle is at 667. And um, so let's go on. We were on RAM. Now, um, another very useful thing to get is a graphics card. And I think I spelled that wrong. The graphics card um, handles the imagery on your computer screen. And so your hard drive doesn't have to do the extra work. Or the processor doesn't have to do the extra work. And so having a graphics card will help you improve your speed. Another very helpful thing to get is a solid state drive. I have one and uh, it increased the speed fundamentally. Incidentally, defragmenting a solid state drive is something you probably do not want to do. Uh, normally with a normal hard drive, um, it's very good to have uh, the drive defragmented every now and then because uh, the speed improves. However, with a solid state drive, it's much more efficient at random reads. So not defragmenting is highly recommended. So that's just something to keep in mind. OK, so we've gone over the four things. One, good monitor. This one will drive me nuts. Two, well, this is a monitor. Oh, the computer. The computer, you don't want to be this person. You want to get a good computer with a lot of RAM, a graphics card, uh, a very good processor. Do I have that in here? Let's put one in. Computer processor. OK, here we go. This is what we need. A very good top of the line processor. OK, so that should do you well. 
get all that and uh, jdeveloper will be a lot less painful to work with have a good evening